with cheese meal. The documentary Supersize Me featured a man who only ate McDonald's for a month, and the results he reported in the 2004 film were less than appetizing, and he claimed his health deteriorated significantly. An Ankeny man who is also a science teacher in the Colonesco School District put together his own amateur documentary looking at the fast food giant. And he and his team of students came to a much different conclusion. Which picture of this man was taken after he had eaten nothing but McDonald's for 90 days? The average Joe would say, well, it'd be that guy on the right. That's what's so amazing about this experiment. I can eat any food at McDonald's that I want as long as I'm smart with the rest of the day of what I balance it out with. That was the theory science teacher John Cisner laid out for three of his students at Colonesco High School this past fall. 90 days of Mickey D's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but with strict daily nutritional limitations of 2,000 calories and trying to stay close to the recommended dietary allowances for nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, fat calories, cholesterol. Cisna approached the owner of the local McDonald's franchise about the idea, and the owner was so interested to see what the results were, he agreed to provide those 90 days of meals to Cisna at no charge. I thought it was kind of crazy. Cisna students use McDonald's online nutritional information to construct daily meals for their teacher, making sure to follow the nutritional limitations he had set. Typical breakfast would be two egg white delights, uh, a bowl of their maple oatmeal, and a 1% milk. A salad for lunch would be followed by a more traditional value meal at dinner. This isn't something to say, well, he only went to McDonald's and ate salads, uh uh. I had the Big Macs, I had the quarter pounders with cheese, I had every, I had uh, Sundays. I had ice cream cones. During the experiment, Cisna turned into a mini documentary. He also started walking 45 minutes a day. My mind says yes. My body says holy buckets, Batman. And by the 90th day, Cisna reports he lost 37 pounds and his cholesterol dropped from 249 to 170. In like a while, that was a lot of a difference. I tell people not only can I see my shoes now, but I can actually tie them. The moral of this gastronomic lesson isn't to eat more at McDonald's but to pay attention to your daily nutrition. The point behind this documentary is that, hey, it's choice. We all have choices. It's our choices that make us fat, not McDonald's. Cisna isn't surprised at the weight loss because he wasn't exercising or watching his calories before he started this, but he is surprised at the large improvement in his blood now that he's capping his nutrients at the recommended daily levels.